I was doing some research the other day on the price of coal. And we are actually in the middle of a price spike in coal. China and India are bidding into the coal fields in the Powder River Basin where the Department of Water and Power gets its coal, and that's been driving up the price. But in the last five years, we have exported five times. We're now exporting five times as much coal as we did five years ago. And uh, the U.S. Geological Survey says that we're getting to the bottom of the hole there. Uh, it costs more to recover the coal that's way down deep than it does to recover the stuff that's right on the surface. And also, the cost of burning coal is going up because the EPA is starting to do its job now <laughs> and requiring utilities to install millions of dollars worth of scrubbers to take the mercury and lead and selenium and sulfur dioxide and oxides of nitrogen out of those things because they're a huge personal uh, public health uh, problem. So that the, you know we get 40 percent of our electricity from coal here in LA. So if we're going to get rid of those coal-fired plants, which by law we have to do, the Sierra Club says get off coal by 2020, 40 percent. That's a lot. So how do we use a bunch of solar panels and windmills to replace 40% of LA's electricity? Uh, a Sierra Club member gets a little embarrassed. How do you do that? But then think about this. The Elwha housing development, uh, the Elwha building downtown, they did an experiment on energy efficiency, and they found that they could easily get 20% savings. And if they really paid attention and got down to business, they could save 40%. 40% savings on, ener on energy efficiency, 40% of our electricity comes from coal. Wait a minute. It's, it wouldn't be easy, but it would be possible to get rid of coal just on efficiency alone. Yeah. So that's really my answer to the question. Energy efficiency is the most important source of energy we've got. As a citizen, how can we impact all of this in one way that... Uh, I'd like to know if there's any pending legislation, Sydney ordinances, county ordinances that would impact the whole idea that you're working on. Anybody would like to share with I have also a comment. Go ahead. Yes. Actually, there's a bunch of stuff, in, and you, you know, in, in a way, your question is central to why we're here today. Repower LA is a coalition. We have allies like uh, Elsa from Scope, we've been walking each other's neighborhoods doing canvassing. Sierra Club, Lane, Scope, all of these groups have started working with each other and moving around the city and going into each other's neighborhoods and we're su supporting specific programs. The uh, Repower LA is asking the city council to tell the Department of Water and Power to bump up the amount of their budget devoted to energy efficiency and what that then does is it brings gentlemen like these two fellows here into the workforce going around and uh, making our houses more energy efficient which is it's a different thing conservation like you mentioned David conservation is important because we got to educate ourselves about how we use energy but energy efficiency is not conservation energy efficiency is what you do to the building because Historically, in the United States, we've made buildings that are energy stupid. <laughs> they don't use energy well. If you look at the old buildings from the 19th century, they had high ceilings and they had overhanging porch roofs which shielded windows from the sunlight. So they were, in a sense, designed to be energy efficient. But when air conditioning and cheap fossil fuel power came in in the 20s and 30s, builders started to say, eh, we don't need all of that stuff. Building codes started to be more relaxed so that we, uh, we could just turn on the air conditioning, turn on the furnace, and uh, that would keep us comfortable because energy seemed cheap. Another thing, legislation. Your question is about legislation. Support the Clean LA Rooftop Solar Program that's being put, pushed by the LA Business Council. They are also allies of the people in this room. And uh, they are proposing 600 megawatts of rooftop solar. Uh, that means it's what, it's what tradition has been called a feed-in tariff, where the utility pays a premium rate to businesses and residences who put 
solar panels on the roof and they create more energy than they consume, so the utility pays them for the electricity they feed into the grid. It's something that's been in, uh, used in Germany to create extremely rapid solar development. And it's a really important way for us to get off coal and get onto gr uh, green energy. So I'd say retrofit LA, repower LA, clean LA rooftop solar, those are three things. And hammer your city council representatives, the folks that were here today, <laughs> with phone calls, emails, snail mails, personal visits. That They're not opposed to us. Mm -hmm. So hammer is a bit violent, isn't it? But <laughs> they're not opposed to us. They are allies. But they need to know that they've got an active and informed population, like That's the right. people in this That's room, right. Right. that have their backs. Because believe me, there are opponents mm -hmm. to this. Right. There are people who want to stay on coal. I go into neighborhood councils regularly and talk to them. So talk to your city council representatives you, and Ken. tell them.